The first debate of this federal election was held in Montreal last night. This one was in French. The leaders sparred over everything from health care to climate change. Mike Lecatur was there and has the details. With 78 seats in the province of Quebec, this first French debate was an important one. It started with a pandemic group photo, followed by each leader hoping to put some distance between them and their opponent. But it got fiery when Bloc Québécois leader Yves-François Blanchet challenged all leaders to say whether or not all their candidates were fully vaccinated. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh confirmed all of his were. Justin Trudeau said all but one with a medical exemption. And Tory leader Erin O'Toole dodged the question. Les vaccinations et les tests de dépistage quotidiens sont mandatoires dans notre campaign. With some polls showing Trudeau in second place, it was clear he felt he needed to come out swinging. Early on, his attacks were aimed at O'Toole and whether or not he supports two-tier health care. O'Toole responded saying he supports the public system, reminding Trudeau a liberal tweet suggesting otherwise was flagged as manipulated media. Twitter a dit que vous avez manipulé une vidéo. Daycare was another hot topic, with Blanchette demanding O'Toole say whether or not he'll honour the $6 billion deal Trudeau signed with the Quebec government. The system functions très bien maintenant au Québec. O'Toole would only say that the Quebec system is working well already and he'll work with Quebec's premier. The environment and pipelines were another point of contention, with Singh suggesting other parties aren't serious about reducing emissions. Plus de pétrole. Full petrol. The choice here is oil and more oil, said Singh, adding the NDP is the only party committed to tackling climate change. All leaders will hit the hustings again on Friday for a few days before being back on the debate stage. There are two more debates next week, but those will include Green Party leader Annemie Paul. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Montreal.